It was only a boy of four. What could have been a terrible tragedy became an unbelievable blessing. An accident almost took my life. And as I lay there, dying, I saw a white light and spirits of those departed, calling me to the other side. But make no mistake, the power of love can conquer all, even death. Or was the love my dear mother held for me, her only son, that brought me back to the land of the living? But with me came Shapur, a spirit from the other side. And from that day till now, Shapur has been my friend, a guide, and a connection to those that we all have loved and lost. Wow. Robin, do you hear that? Yep. And it will cost you one gold coin. Percy didn't have a mother. You know him? Percy's father was one of our tenant farmers. Only one. We used to play together when we were kids. He used to tell stories back then, too. To speak to the dearly departed. No mother. She left his father when Percy was three. No spirit friend. Last time I saw Percy, he was selling an elixir guaranteed to extend your life. Before that, he was promising rain in a drought. Just talk to my lovely assistant, Jillian. Hey, you. I want to contact my father. Percy, I have a woman here who wishes to contact... Yes, yes, no, Her father! Oh. That's right. How do you know that? I interest you in my fruits and vegetables. I have the best selection in the village of Helmsley. Apples, melons. I hear you import exotic spices. What are you looking for? Cardamom. I have some in the back. Lord Hazelmere. Glad you came. Robin, so good to see you, my boy. I just heard about the Earl of Brompton. He's the third to be assassinated this month. Prince John is slowly picking off the Saxon lords one by one. He's targeting the old guard, the lords most loyal to King Richard, the ones who have given him the greatest number of men and money for the crusade. By murdering King Richard's supporters, he hopes to improve his chances of laying claim to the throne. So what shall we do? We set a trap for the assassin. But how? We have no idea what he looks like. King Richard's greatest known supporters are you, Count Valentine, Lord Stanhope, and the Earl of Wycliffe. I want to bring you together. Where you are, the assassin will follow. What do you need from me? I want you to put your seal on these letters to the three of them, asking them to meet with you. I'm afraid, unlike you, they won't come at my invitation. Lord Hazelmere, you're under arrest for sedition. By whose authority? In the name of Prince John. Since we're name-dropping... Robin Hood. Good. Your eyesight is fine. Let's check that hand-eye coordination, shall we? <laughs> She did have the best melons in town. Give some for the rest of us. Be my guest. What are we going to do? Prince John has spies everywhere. Lord Hazemir, you're going to have to go underground. Once you've found a secure meeting place, send a messenger to us. You'll wear red robes. Good. Tuck, Marion, little John, deliver these letters. I'll wait in town to hear from you.
Lord Hazelmere. Centuries ago in England, it was an era of chivalry and magic. The evil Prince John unleashed an iron fist of tyranny upon the people. They called out for a champion. One man answered that call. His name was Robin Hood. Fearless in his quest for justice, Robin Hood challenged the power of the high-born lords while protecting the helpless and the poor. Willing to face death for what he believed, together with the beautiful lady warrior Marion, the mighty Little John, and the wise Friar Tuck, Robin Hood forged a legend that lives on today in The New Adventures of Robin Hood. to go with you and meet up with Lord Hazelmere and the others. That's the plan. You say you're Friar Tuck, but you could be anybody. You could be one of Prince John's spies. Um, I assure you, Earl Whitecliffe. The real Friar Tuck is well known for his discerning palate. Yes, a simple test would convince me whether to go with you or not. A test? What sort of test? You're late. How can I be late? I'm not even... Never mind. Never mind. Just follow me. Come. Come. Now relax. Make yourself comfortable and sit down. Hazelmere has taken to trusting outlaws. In these times, honorable men have to trust each other and band together in the name of King Richard. Very well. I won't let you go, Grandfather. You're not well. Now, now, Yolanda. I mean it. I won't let you go, and that's final. I'll have the horses ready at first light. I thought that was you in the crowd today. <laughs> Jillian, how are you? Fine, thanks. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. What about me? Don't I get a big hello? Oh, wait. What's that, Shapur? Shapur says you still don't approve of what I do. Is that right? Percy, please. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, it is good to see you, Robin. It's good to see you, too, Percy. What we have to eat, dear? Stew. Stew, it is, my love. I don't know how you put up with him this long. He's not a bad man. Well, I never said he was a bad man. We have to survive, Robin. I mean, we tried honest work, but he broke his spirit to see me washing floors or digging up potatoes in the field. So I live with it, because his spirit means everything to me. Fair enough. Robin, what we have to drink? I'm by. I lay you odds that your chef studied the Jacques Boucher in Paris. Dig in. Try the lamb. Mmm. An exceptional Caprini ruminantia. It's um, a medium wool breed. Definitely not French. Um, could be. Shropshire or Oxford. Uh, on the other hand, 
The way it disintegrates on the tongue is very distinctive. Suffer. It's got to be from there. Incredible. If nothing, saddle my horses. I'll be leaving with the good friar after we eat. She definitely studied in Paris. I came as soon as I heard you were here. Why aren't you dressed? What? I specifically requested that you wear this. Didn't Madame tell you? I think you've mistaken. Shut a word. Not one word. Sit. Go on. Sit. Ooh. The whip's a nice touch. Ow. Count Valentine, I'm so sorry. So you like to play rough, do you? <laughs> oh, wow. I don't want to hurt you, but I think you've got me confused with someone else. You should read this. Good to see you again, my friend. So what do we do now? We wait to hear from Lord Hazelmere. And if you gentlemen don't mind, I'll leave our guests here in your protected custody. What are you going to do? I'm going to go outside and make myself visible. Let's see if this guy can hit a moving target. But with me came Shapur, a spirit guide, <gasps> and a connection to those that we all have loved and lost. Percy, I have someone here who wants to... I am getting a strong vibration. I, I see, I see a, a woman. An older woman, I think. Is she your mother? It's amazing. Can you believe it? Your mother says, is that Shapur? She says she loves you and misses you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Anyone else oh. like to contact a loved one? Yes, I would. Sorry. What is that thing? Shapur? There is a man here who wishes to speak to someone. My brother. Hey, you can't come in here. Shapur says your brother's death was very tragic. Yes, yes, it was. Shapur says that your brother's death was very violent. Violent? Yes, Prince John's men killed my brother. Your brother, your brother. He says not to waste your life trying to take revenge. And my brother hated Prince John. Percy! Keep your places. We'll get back to the show. I'm sure that the uh, spirit presence in the area just got to him. Robin, what kind of scam are you pulling up? It's not a scam, I swear. He's dead. He was poisoned. Oh. Percy, what happened? Edward! Edward. Is he a friend? My brother in law. Prince John's guards did this. Oh. 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 What can we do to help? I'll take him back to his wife. Thank you. I didn't find anything on him. I'm going back to town. Remember how Miss 
Mrs. Turnbull used to leave her apple pies out to cool. And then you and Percy would take one of them. I remember Percy used to bring them to you so that you could have the first bite. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? Where is he? Where's what? I'm not selling any elixir. Never mind. I'll find it myself. He always got away with everything. At someone else's expense. It's the rose. It's a signal. Where's Percy? He went back to the wagon. Robin, what's going on? Robin! Will you please tell me what's going on? Some Saxon lords have been assassinated, and I think the man that was killed this afternoon was looking for me. And you think Percy's involved? I hope not. <sighs> Percy. As the body returns to the earth, so the spirit returns to our heavenly father. Percy shall forever remain in our hearts. May he find peace and everlasting life. Amen. Amen. I promise you'd never leave me. Dead. You say that like I wanted to die. I was murdered, remember? I, this is impossible. How, uh... Damned if I know. Oop. Can't say those things too casually. No, 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 no. This is not happening. Robin, look at me. It's happening. Make it unhappen. I'm not going anywhere until I know that Jillian is safe and I find that idiot who killed me. You're gonna help me. Percy. <clears throat> Robin, you okay? Julian, my love. Look, it's me, Percy. Why'd you scream? Do you see anything unusual? Like what? They can't see me. No, because you're dead. Who's dead? Percy. Robin, tell her to look at me. Maybe if, you, maybe if she concentrates. Julian, look straight ahead. Concentrate. Don't you see him? 
Jillian, Jillian, wait. Robin, get her back. Do you mind leaving me alone? Uh, maybe we should just uh, leave you alone. Maybe we should leave him alone, right, little John? Right. Not you. Percy. Percy. Um, we buried him yesterday, Robin, remember? You uh, took quite a bang on the head. Of course. Right, I, I bumped my head. I'm disoriented. Of course you are. No bump on the head. Yes, you are, and eventually you'll go away. Robin, maybe you'd better just lie down again. No, I'm fine. Marion should be back by now, and we need to be ready when we hear from Lord Hazelbear. And you sure you're okay? Right as rain. Let's go. I'm coming with you. No, you stay here. Oh, make your mind up. You said you want us to go. I, I meant go. Uh, but you did say stay. Yeah, well, sometimes I do that. <laughs> Let's go. Nothing. No, nothing. Nothing at all. So, who's this? Count Valentin. Robin Hood. It's a pleasure, Mr. Hood. Marion, what are you doing? It's a little game we're playing. You little minx. How did you know I would like this? <sighs> little John, could you show Count Valentin to his room, please? Oh, that's all. See you later. Oh, I just thought of something. Oh, I can't believe you're doing this. Oh, you have no idea. When she's right, she is right. Look, I don't want to hear another word out of you. If he knew what I'd been through... Marion... Robin, this is important. Not another word. Well, if that's the way you feel... Marion, wait. Uh, Marion, Marion. Uh, something happened while you were gone. Look, you have to stop this. It's a little distracting. You've got to help me talk to Jillian. I know it's hard to accept, but you've got to face it. You're dead. Who's dead? Percy. He was murdered. <laughs> Look, Robin, I'm having problems dealing with this whole ghost thing myself. I kind of died unexpectedly. Now, I'm afraid that my whole life was meaningless. Percy. I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. Really. Percy? Percy? I can't believe you're gone. Oh, Percy. <laughs> worried about Robin. I sent for Father Stanovich. He was the one responsible for getting rid of the ghost of Swansea Castle. Do you think he can help? Well, if there's a ghost involved, Father Stanovich is your man. Jillian's in trouble. I have to go. What is it? It's Jillian. Hurry. Jillian! Where's Jillian? I don't know. She was here. They must have taken her. You know where she is. I don't. Her soul, her spirit, you'll live forever. Go to her. Let's go eat. Good. Did they hurt you? You be brave. So everything's taken care of? You got it tied up? I'll be right back.
Now, you don't have to make this so hard on yourself. I was just about to say the same thing to you. Deal. Oh, ah! Get them! She's hiding in the forest. Robin! Jillian? Robin, how did you know where to find me? Percy. I know it sounds crazy, but you've got to believe me. Is he here now? Yes. He's standing right next to you. Robin, tell her. I know what he's looking for. What is it? Now, don't get angry. Uh, you remember that man who was murdered? Well, I kind of found something he had. That's it. Tell the others. We leave in the morning. Robin, Tuck thinks that you're seeing Percy's ghost because you feel guilty. It's not your fault. Marion, I'm fine. Jillian's asleep. Thanks. You're welcome. Good night. Close the door. The plan is working perfectly. Yes. Except you still owe me money. Yes. I could kill them all now. No. Why not let them lead us to Hazelmere? Ride to Prince John and get more men. I want them to die at Prince John's hand. How will I find you? I'll leave you a trail. Someone I want you to meet. Be gone, spirit. I command thee. Robin. Be gone, spirit. What is she doing? Who is she? Uh, this is Corrine Stanovich. I, I tried to get her uncle, Father Stanovich. He's got the flu. She came in his place. How fortunate. Why? Did she the ghost away? What nerve? Is he here now? has made a strong connection to you. Oh, brother. You got yourself a real amateur here. Robin, I need to talk to you. Robin, do this for me, please. What do you want me to do? To lie on the table. Percy, if you 
can hear me. It's time to go home. I can't believe that you're actually buying into this. I mean, what I admit, she's, she's putting on a pretty good show here, but uh, Tuck just threw his money away. Have you done this a lot? Um, this is my first time. But I watched my uncle. Spirits! Hey! 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 Did it work? <laughs> Is uh, Percy still here? Nope. <laughs> He's not. It worked. Oh, thank you. Anytime, Frater. There is no charge. This one's on me. Oh, thank you. May I use you as a reference? Uh, we're kind of hard to find. True. Good night. What's wrong? Percy was trying to tell me something when she sent him away. Well, whatever it was, I'm sure we can live without it. It's for the best. Yeah, I guess you're right. We'll catch up with Hazel and me in the morning. God. Jillian. Robin. Once we have captured this assassin, we shall unite and end Prince John's tyranny. To Lord Hazelmere. Lord, Lord Hazelmere. 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 Lord Hazelmere. Hmm. Exceptional. You know? It reminds me of a glass of wine I had several years ago Robin. in the shadow Destia. I need to talk to you. Here, the Doriac family. It was a San Emilio. Please, it's important. A mythical wine. A tiny bit tanny. If you'll excuse me. Exceptional crew, by the way. Why are you here? You have to move on. I think you'd be a little happier to see me if you knew the hell I'd been through to get back. I know who hired the assassin, and it wasn't Prince John. Who? Count Valentine. You're positive of this. Robin, I swear on my own grave. All right. I'll take care of it. It had this taste that can only be given by the old oak barrel, which reinforces its flavor. It was a San Emilio from the Hospice Madeleine, a mythical wine. Gentlemen, now to the business at hand. I will compose a letter for us all to sign and send to King Richard. And in this letter, I will state that we have been betrayed by one murderous Count Valentine. For what purpose and to what end, he will tell us now. 
that Valentine meets with justice. I know you will. He's responsible for the death of a very good friend of mine. A very good friend, huh? That means a lot, Robin. Thank you, Robin. Don't thank me. Thank Percy. He's standing right here. I wish I could see him. She can. If she'll let go. What do you mean? Jillian's the only reason I'm still here. Release him. You have to let him go. Release him? From what? My love? Everything we share? You'll have that for the rest of your life. I know. Percy. Wherever you are. Time comes, I'll find you. Percy. Bye, Jim. 
Percy, don't go. I don't want to be here without you. You have to stay. You have to raise our child. Child? Now promise me you'll teach him to be everything that I want him to be. Him? I'll teach him to be kind and loving. Just like his father. Proceed. Well, I'd like to thank you all for being here for this, my last performance here on this stage. Percy has left the building.